نحمد و نسلی و نسلم علیہ سیدنا و مولانا و حبیب نہ محمد ولاح و صحابی و ضروریاتی اجمعین فلحمد اللہ رب العالمین اما بعد محرم محرم ریفرس ٹو دا فرسٹ منتھ ان دا اسلامی کیلنڈر دا ورڈ محرم مینس سیکرڈ اٹ از اے سیکرڈ منتھ ایز مینشن ان دا قرآن الانگ ود تھری ادر منتھس آف ذو القدا ذو الحجا اینڈ رجب ایز سچ ایوری ڈے ایوری ٹائم از امپارٹنٹ اینڈ گڈ بٹ اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ ہیز میڈ سرٹن پیریڈس آف ٹائم لائک ان اے ڈے دا ٹائم آف اثر او مغرب دا ٹائم آف فجر تحجد ار ٹائمس ون اے دعا gets accepted quicker so like that even in a year certain months are considered to be more important than others in this also we see our allah's love for his creations because he keeps on providing us with opportunities to do good and be rewarded multiple times more like for example we have a person who has spent 30 years of their lives in prayers and other nawafil and obviously he or she has earned more rewards then others and there is a person who has just come onto the right path and wishes to earn more but in a shorter period of time as he or she had lost all the time on the wrong path so allah has given every opportunity to keep earning more rewards this is love and we as muslims should take this opportunity this gift from allah and utilize it it in the correct manner Allah Azza wa Jal has mentioned in various places in the Quran that race with each other in good deeds. Example is Surah Al-Imran verse number 114 where he says Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim wa yusari'una fil khairat. Sadaqallahu al-Azim. That race with each other in good works, good deeds. So, let's race. Muharram is not only a sacred month because of the tragedy of Karbala. In fact, it is the other way around. The tragedy of Karbala and the martyrdom of Imam Hussain radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and his family took place in the month of Muharram so as to increase the multitude of rewards and blessings on each and every one of the shaheed. This is also Allah's love that the tragedy at Karbala occurred during the sacred and blessed month of Muharram because of Allah's love for his believers. In any way or time, a shaheed or a martyr is a very privileged person but to be martyred in the way of islam so as to preserve it for the generations the ummah of imam hussain's radiyallahu ta'ala anhu beloved grandfather our holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the month of muharram is indeed a great honor for the martyr and for us who love imam hussain and the rest of ahlul bayt for the sacrifices they made so we can today proudly call ourselves muslims but do we do that no we in fact discredit this great act of martyrdom by mourning or by carrying out processions of mourning and beating and wailing our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had said one who engages in wailing lamenting tearing of one's clothes or beating oneself as a mourning ritual which was done in the times of jahiliyyah is not one of us there but instead of discussing the aspect of not mourning let's try and find out today as to what we as muslims can do during the month of muharram or for the weak willed the first 10 days to gain maximum rewards here and in the hereafter a prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had said as narrated by Abu Hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu that Allah has decreed that all the deeds and actions of man are for himself except fasting fasting is for Allah and the unpleasant odor coming from the mouth of a person who is fasting is better than musk Allah says that because the person has left food drinks and desires for his sake and his sake alone hence he will reward him for it and the reward of good deeds is multiplied 10 times sahih bukhari so fasting is a very good way of earning not only rewards here and in the hereafter but of earning allah's pleasure but fasting does not only mean to give up food and drink fasting means abstinence 
and here we as Muslims should carry out an act that reflects on the true meaning of Muharram which also includes the tragedy at Karbala and the great martyrdom. What is that act? Instead of mourning, beating and tearing our clothes off and disrespecting our own bodies astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, which are Allah's possessions, it's his amana with us and not only that but revealing the private parts of a man like his chest and legs, even if they're not part of his satar or aura, haya has always been advised by our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi And for a woman to take part in such kind of processions and to see such kind of uh, things, in this way she is committing haram. We as Muslims should try and pray more nawafil. Abstain from watching TV which actually we should always do because it is wrong, it is haram, it is forbidden. You're not supposed to watch TV programs, movies and all those things. But if you're doing it so far if as an individual but and you're not able to control your nafs, then start. Start by carrying out this act in this sacred month, in this blessed month of Muharram. Abstain from lying, cheating. Acts which as a Muslim or as a human being you're supposed to stay away from. But if you're not, then say Bismillah in the month of Muharram. Avoid celebrations, not as part of mourning, but as a sign of respect for the martyrs at Karbala. Immerse yourself in reading and reciting Quran. Hold dhikr circles or halakha at your houses, at your friends' houses. Fast during the first ten days, and if you can't, then fast on the ninth, tenth, and eleventh. And if you can't even do that, then fast. On the ninth and tenth, or the tenth and eleventh, because in a hadith, when a Sahaba came to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi and told him about Jews fasting on the day of Ashura, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam responded by saying that we have to fast on the day of Ashura because we have more a right on Musa alayhi salam than the Jews do, but to keep us separate, because we're not supposed to imitate the non-Muslims or the non-believers in their practices, so keep us separate from them. We are to fast a day before the Ashura or the day after Ashura. Sahih Muslim and Sahih Bukhari We are lucky that we are Muslims and recite the Kalma Tawheed. We are lucky to be assured of Allah's forgiveness and mercy. We are lucky to be assured of intervention of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Wasallam on the day of Qiyamah. But all of this could have changed if the tragedy at Karbala did not occur, each and every one of the shaheed or the shuhada, right from Imam Hussain's radiallahu ta'ala anhu's baby boy, Hazrat Ali Azgar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, in his arms, whose blood, who was pierced by arrows, by Yazid Lanati's army, whose blood was not accepted by the ground or the sky, to the women of Ahlul Bayt whose scarves and earrings were snatched and they were slapped. To our beloved Imam Hussain ta'ala anhus, whose head Mubarak was separated by Lanati Yazid and carried on spears through the market. My Muslim brothers and sisters, all this was done to preserve Islam. So respect the sacred month and acknowledge the privileges that we are enjoying because of the great martyrs and immerse ourselves in our religion completely. Muslim brothers, I request you, go and pray in Jamaat. Muslim sisters, pray Nawafil at home, fulfill because you have responsibilities to fulfill as well at home. All of you recite the Quran do more good deeds to each other to attain the love and pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ajar for ourselves here in Akhira. May Allah guide us all on the straight path and keep us always in His infinite love and protection. Ameen.